Um, uh, obviously, you went with Jetty the whole fourth quarter tonight, and it, and it worked out. Um, what worked out well, actually? What what um, what led you to or made you stay with him that whole time? I mean, he was playing well, um, and you know it was a tough game for Channing because they played five smalls in that second half, and um, in that fourth quarter they went small, so the matchups was better. You know, for having Jetty, we had to guard the point guards, guard the twos and threes, so. Um, he made some big shots, played hard, played well, and uh, we needed it tonight, and he gave us a great lift. When you get fully, fully healthy, it, it might be hard for, for Jetty to, to get minutes, but how important is these last 20 games or whatever for his long-term development? I mean, it's very important, just getting a chance to, you know, play every single night, know when he's going to play, when he's going in. Um, is huge, especially being a rookie, you know, um, experience you know on the floor is more than anything you can possibly ask for so um him getting a chance to to play every night play consistent minutes and know when he's going to play um it's huge for him he's taking advantage of it while the ride now our akron beacon journal just one more thing about him is he improved defensively it looked like that that steal at the end like 50 seconds ago. i mean he's always active you know he has great hands um plays hard you know sometimes he gets over anxious sometimes he fouls jump shooters because he wants to contest every shot but i mean he plays hard every single night and that's all you can ask i mean you're not going to be able to stop these guys in the nba you know every single night especially one-on-one -on -one. but if you compete and give the effort every night that's all you can ask for and that's what jetty does lebron's run of triple doubles i think it's three and four games i mean have you ever seen anything like this uh, Russell Westbrook last year, <laughs> but <laughs> but outside of that, I mean, you know, Bron is, you know, he's great. It's just you know making guys better around him, um, making guys comfortable. You know, guys liking to play with him. So, um, you know, he enjoys that. You know, he enjoys you know getting guys open shots and getting guys to score points. So, um, that's who he is. Jason, he, he, he's got to be better. All right. Who me? Yeah. What? <laughs> How about that? Every time he just, he just turn his hand over, he just turn his hand over. Come I thought on. you owned me for missing pregame. <laughs> no, you always miss pregame now. Oh my god! Good thing I'm the boss, man. Uh, I totally forgot what I was going to ask. Now, no, I, I got it. I talked to you the other day about uh, oh, Jason Lloyd for the Athletic. Did I have I established that yet? Um, I talked the other day about we were talking about the new scheduling and the. Uh, Trying to minimize back-to-backs, I want LeBron. By this point, had already missed two games last year because of rest, and he was about to miss a third here, like end of December. He missed a third. Do you think this playing every other day has has helped him establish this rhythm and allow him to? I mean, he had a phenomenal year last year as well, but he missed a lot of games. This year, he hasn't missed any, and he's still in this rhythm. Do you think it has to do with this every other day playing? Um, I think so. I mean, um, and I think the team's gotten in the rhythm also. Just. Um, you know, knowing our schedule, what we're going to do, how we're going to approach it, and guys are able to take care of their bodies and, you know, do their do their own workouts and things like that, take care of their body, get treatment. Um, but, I mean, he feels good. And this is a tough game because, you know, we play at 730 tonight and then tomorrow we play at 6. And um, I talked to him about it, but he said, no, he wants to play tomorrow. So he's in a good rhythm. He's in a good place and said he wants to play. Um, along those lines, do you plan to give anybody a rest tomorrow? Um, I think D Wade's out tomorrow and Tristan's out tomorrow. Is I, I, I know we just talked about this the other day, but is is Dwayne's knee still? I, I don't really know. I mean, you have to ask him. I mean, you know, I'll do a talk to Steve in the trainer. Just he say he can go, he can go. If not, you know, we understand. And tonight, you know, he missed some layups, but he got to the basket. I thought he attacked well. Just his timing, but he gave us everything he had. And that's all you can ask for. And um, but he'll be out tomorrow. So. We'll see.